Before we proceed with the second half of tonight's performance, I would like to invite Swamiji on stage to address us, and in doing so, also to give us his blessings. Swamiji. Dear friends, <clears throat> it's a matter of great honor to be invited 
and to be presented to you in this podium. I feel very humble because of this honor. As you have heard many a times, she has been explaining it to you, the spirit behind this performance, this function. Apart from being a beneficiary of their generosity and magnanimity and your wholehearted participation, I have a few words to tell you. Just to remind you, what does Vedanta mean to the world today, which was nestled in the glades and forests of Himalayas for time immemorial? Vedanta is that attitude of life which teaches you how to convert every moment of your life to live in God, with God, for the sake of God, by the grace of God. That is the spirit of Vedanta. So nothing is exclusive, excluded. Any activity with a little attitudinal correction can be converted into an avenue to interact with the awareness of presence of the divine. All religions under the sun proclaim that divine created this universe and permeated this universe with his own being, his spirit, and to establish a line of communication with the divine is a secret of spiritual life. And performing arts, whether instrumental, vocal, dance, even the art of a sculptor or an artist, a creative genius, whosoever he may be, a teacher, an engineer, a lawyer, a worldly profession, which we say is a worldly, can be converted into a means to find out oneness with the universe by a little attitudinal correction. That is, we develop an attitude of living in God, with God, for the sake of God, by the grace of God. Dear, this is the essence of Vedanta. So don't think it is an exclusive club. It is meant for the masses, for each and every human being under the sun who would like to enjoy the ecstatic feeling of being one with God. Vedanta teaches him or her how to convert the mundane life into a journey to the infinite. So, dears, today we have only chosen the performing arts that India has produced as a means to be one with God. This is as far as Vedanta is concerned. I will fail in my duty if I do not pour my heart out with grateful thanks to the Das family. The way this is the second time that they have come forward to help the building fund of the Ramakrishna movement here, known as the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of Victoria, to help this society to create a fund to have a very well-organized center here. I have no words to express the depth of my gratitude to this family and all the participants of this function and to all of you who have thought it fit to help the cause 
through this function. May God bless you all is my unending prayers to him. Thank you. Thank you, Swamiji. And after your explanation of the way of the Vedanta, it is truly a worthly cause to give to. After the demise of Jyoti's guru, Srimadhi Sanjukta Panigrahi, she was fortunate enough to be able to further advance her art with Srimadhi Paushali Mukherjee, whom you have seen so ably on the Pakavaj tonight. It now gives me great pleasure to invite Srimadhi Paushali to address you. Good evening, everybody. Actually, I want to tell you so many things in my mind. We are not habituated of speaking on stage rather than showing mudras and taals and singing like that. But still, on behalf of the musician, Sri Devashi Shorkar and myself, there is something to tell you. We are really honored that we are present here. The amount of respect that Jayati has given to us and the amount of love and affection we have received from our Dada, Vijay Dada and Shila Didi. We never forget that. We need your blessings also, I beg your blessings here only that we can complete this program because I am here, I feel there is some responsibility from Sanjukta Didi because I know in India Jayati was a heart and soul of Sanjukta Panigrahi. Though I can feel here on stage the spirit of Srimati Sanjukta Panigrahi to bless Jayati, to overcome all the obstacles for the dance. A really, a really thrilling spiritual experience. I need your blessings also that this evening we can complete our program very successfully so that you can feel she is the only one Torch bearer of Sanjukta Di's dance form, which was very different from others, because this Odissi dance, it is famous only for her contribution throughout the world. Otherwise, nobody knows that such a beautiful dance form is there. So this evening, I need your blessings, bless for us on behalf of our musician. We need that, and also I want to thank to the Melbourne musician that Binod Bhai and Radhishamji, the amount of cooperation they did to make this teamwork here. We used to practice every day. Now I became a, like a family. I'll miss the family when I go back to India. I'll miss Melbourne. Thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you, Srimadhi Paushali. And may the blessings of the Rasikas and the Divine be always upon you and the musicians. I hope you are all enjoying tonight's journey to this elegant and lyrical dance form. And before we continue, I would like to invite the main navigator of this Odyssey voyage, Joithi Das, to address you. Joithi? Pranam Samiji, your gracious presence and blessings are very uplifting to me in particular. My students, their parents, and all of these enlightened audience present here tonight. We are grateful to have Vedanta Society associated with us in this unique Parampara Odyssey Festival in Melbourne. This has added a divine perspective to this whole event which we always cherish in our heart. Swamiji, please accept our pronoun. Thank you, Yashod, for doing a great job in comparing and being the MC for tonight. I will thank you later properly. Namaste and good evening, my respected elders, supporting friends and families, and distinguished audience, guests. 
So is my turn to say a few words in person other than my dancing so far. Many of you possibly have attended the first event of this Parampara Orissi Festival last Saturday at this very stage, the Manchu Pravesh or debut solo performance by Tharani. This was a family event with invited guests and connoisseurs of dance and the arts in general. The family dedicated to Odyssey style of my Guru Sanjukta Banigrahi and preserved with me for many years and persevered as Tharani went through her learning process and I in my own way so that we could reach where we reached last Saturday. With blessings of Lord Jagannath and Guru Sanjukta smiling in heaven, hopefully, I could present Tharani on, man, on her mantra pravesh. I had passed on what I have learnt for this from Guru Sanjukta Panigrahi in true sense of the Parampara style. I didn't speak then. My effort had spoken. And I leave, you up, leave it up to all of you present and who had seen what she had done to make the judgment. Tharani had lived up to the occasion, I must say. She has stepped in to the beginning of another journey in her life. Along with all other pursuits that she will endeavour in her life, this is another, with a test that Tharani had acquired, which will take her further and possibly carry on to the next generation. I thank uncle and auntie, Ratna Kumars, for their dedication and support, not only to Tharani, but also to us and also to my dance school, the Kalamandir School of Arts. My prayer for her now in particular and for all limited number of students is not to lose humility through any achievements. As this world, going mad, as Aunt Inesa says, has expressed many times, we feel ourselves we must not lose perspective. Humility, apart from dance, is that aspect of humanity. I have learned from my dear Guru and I do cherish that. I would pray the same for all my students and associates. May God bless you all. As for my little contribution to this art form, I'm trying my best to keep it alive here in Melbourne. I can only do that through my students. I wish to have as many like Tharani and Gauri who have seen perform tonight and few others with their dedication and parental support to do justice to that. Time has changed, time will change, taste has changed, and it will. Like most of you, I also like the popular Bollywood dance. As you may have been aware, I have done Bharatnatyam and persevered with Odyssey by grace of my Guru Sanjukta Panigrahi. I feel I have acquired something which has lived for many years in the past and will live equally many years in the future. It is like graduating in academics to make a living out of this and a living career. This is my second or third degree, as you might know, as this was last week. Very satisfying and it was very pleasing that I could share this with all of you. It is a classical dance. It is a diversion for me. I do work. I do do this as a part-time and it has become a very serious part-time hobby. It is different from popular Bollywood, which I also like, but, and like most of you would appreciate, but it is a choice that one has to make as students and as people and as individuals. That's enough of emotional things. Now comes time to thank you all, which is why I was actually here. First, I would like to thank my overseas guests, Mrs. Poshali Mukherjee, Boshalidi, whom she's very well known in Calcutta, whom I owe a heck of a lot to. I have known her for many years and she has truly helped me to get into continuing Odyssey. After my beloved mother like Guru Shanjukta left us, when I could not dance for almost a year. Thank you, Boshalidi, for all that you have done and for accompanying with us in this Parampara festival here in Melbourne today. Boshalidi, I would like you to come out for a little bit for just a tiny token of my gratitude to you.
थैंक यू जयति यू नो वट इज आर आइटम थर्ड आइटम यूज टू डू पल्लवी सो पल्लवी मीन्स इलेबोरेशन फ्रॉम वन ब्रांच टू वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक फ्लावर फ्रूट लाइक दैट सो आई प्रे टू गॉड नो दिस इज नॉट स्टॉप यू दिस इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टूडे यू हैव टू ग्रो अप लाइक पल्लवी लाइक कीप दैट संजुक्ता दी स्टाइल विथ यू थैंक यू Simon Our next guest Mr Devashish Sarkar Devashish da as he is known to me had also also had long association from a time when I first danced in Bharatnatyam on on Nikte Rotale Tale sang and recorded by him Thank you Devashish da for your voice and particularly to get us get all of us working together in unison we look forward for a long association in the future thank you uncle radesham gupta accompanying on the sitar it is pleasing to have you with us after so many years living in melbourne and vinod bhai vinod prasanna thank you for all the effort you have put into accompanying to our festival concerts on the flute uncle obishek gupta i do not have words to express our gratitude to you and that is true for all of us in our family Your work on stage on and off support in all aspects and the human qualities are worth being associated with you and Shima Didi as well the constant support for all of us and the Das family thank you for helping us in concert in Monjira by the way he played that yesterday and today he's absolutely fantastic i wish i could do that uh, and i wouldn't have to practice for years and years and years Uncle Himadridi, Himadridev who is doing the lighting, Arif Dada, Mitumashi, Shimadidi who I mentioned before. You know who you all are and you mean so much to me. Thank you so much for all your support, Shobhana Mashi, who makes me look like this today. Thank you so much. The three people who worked tirelessly here at the Alexander Theatre, not just today, but also last week from Friday. Anything we wanted, they tried their best to acquire. That is Taylor, Simon and Cheney, Paul from Foxmore Video, all respected members of the Vedanta Society with particular mention to Govindan Ankal and Nandita Mashi for their untiring effort to make this event possible. I will finish, please bear with me. Me and Kalamandir School is also grateful to be service of Ramakrishna Mission, just a few people as well as our sponsors, Roshi Zopal, Kalaniketan Commonwealth Bank, Incredible India, Society Coffee Cup Prime Private Limited, Royal Nut Company, Accounting First, Gora Travels, ABI Speedy Printer, and the Tandoor. <sighs> Lastly, you, the appreciative and tolerant audience guests, without whom I would not be performing here tonight. Thank you. In this regard, I had to mention something about one of our respected patrons, Dr. R. Ballard. Many of you may know him as well as well as a medical pr- practitioner. Could not be with us here tonight due to other prior commitments. But what he did. He had facilitated to have me perform in his area where he lives. He has facilitated an orgy concert arranged by the Yarra Rangers Shire Council to perform in the Upper Yarra Arts Centre in Warburton on Saturday, April the 10th, 2010. I will run a workshop on orgy as well as prior to that date. How appreciative he is, and our thanks to him as always. Last but not least. I have to thank and I couldn't start the next half of the program without thanking this girl who I used to teach but now she doesn't learn anymore but she's always there any time there's a program or somebody's doing something she said she just tirelessly says just ring me let me know if you need any help her mum has always compared for my program in fact I don't know of any other person who has done it every program of mine auntie nessa is here expressing her love of the art form and her love of orissa so to you you should i would like to say a sincere gratitude and just a little token of thanks
Now I'll leave you and pass this microphone on to Yashod to introduce you to the next half of the program.